Hello everyone, we're gonna start by talking about lists. Lists are a collection of values that you can store in a variable. So here in an example, I've made a list of colors represented by strings. Um, and then the turtle is going to use the different colors to uh, paint his little picture. So let's run the program here. And I'm gonna show you a few things about lists down here. So our list of colors is red, green, yellow, blue, as you can see. And, here, let me zoom in a little bit. Red, green, yellow, blue. Um, and if I wanted to get the zeroth value, I would do colors and then square brackets and zero. That would give me the zeroth value, which is the first one in the list, the zeroth one. And then color, I could also do colors at index two. These are called indexes when you put a number in there. Um, and that gives us yellow because it's zero, one, two, three. So colors index three is going to be blue. Colors index four is going to be out of range. <clears throat> I can also get the length of this list by typing in len using the len, len function, the length function. And it says it's length four. Um, so yeah, because there's four elements in it. So let's go ahead and use this to um, draw a picture with turtle. So what's going to happen is it's going to loop through all the colors and each color is going to be stored in this temporary variable C just within the loop and then it will change the color of the turtle every time. So let's go ahead and do that. Awesome. Okay, now we're going to see some uh, functions that are going to um, affect our list of colors and change what's in the list. So our list of colors again is red, green, yellow, blue. And then if I go to the next line, which is colors append black, then we'll see what happens. So now black has been appended to the end of the list. The list is of length five now. Then colors. Cool. What if I wanted to remove something? Well, I could use the pop function of color of list. And that's the next thing in line. So it's going to get rid of the zeroth element, colors.pop0. And so it got rid of red, because red was in the zeroth spot. OK, next line is going to insert red at index 2, which is going to be right here, right before blue. So let's go ahead and do that. And now red has been inserted. And then uh, for the last function we can look at, um, colors.removeGreen is going to remove green from the list. And there's our colors, yellow, red, blue, black, which as you can see is what the turtle will draw now. So those are ways that you can add and remove stuff from a list. Um, append, insert, pop, remove. Um, you can also change things, like if I were to do colors 0, um, color at index 0, I want to change that to be blue. I could do that. Um, so hopefully that helps out, a little bit of an introduction to lists. Lists can change, lists are mutable, meaning um, they can be modified. Um, you can add things to the list, you can remove things from the list, you can change the length of the list by adding more things or removing more things. Um, so yeah. That is it.